The Oklahoma Highway Patrol has a new high-tech device it says will help curb drug money laundering and identity theft, but opponents say the device violates constitutional rights and can be abused by law enforcement. News 9's Aaron Brilbeck joins us live with this story. Aaron. Yeah, you may have heard of civil asset forfeiture. That's where police can seize your property in cash without first proving that you committed a crime without a warrant and without arresting you as long as they suspect that property was used in a crime. Now, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol has a device that also allows them to seize money in your bank account or on prepaid cards. It's called an ERAD, Electronic Recovery and Access to Data Machine, and state police began using 16 of them last month. Here's how it works. If a trooper suspects you may have money tied to some type of a crime, the Highway Patrol can scan any cards you have and seize the money. We're going to look for different factors in the way that you're acting. We're going to look for different, uh, if there's a difference in your story, if there's some way that we can prove that you're basically falsifying information to us about your, uh, about your business. Troopers insist this isn't just about seizing cash. And I know that a lot of people are just going to focus on the seizing money. That's a very small thing that's happening right now. The largest part that we have found, the biggest benefit, has been the identity theft. As for any money seized, if you can prove that you have a legitimate reason to have that money, it will be given back to you. And we've done that in the past. Senator Kyle Loveless says that removes due process and the belief that a suspect is presumed innocent until proven guilty. He says we've already seen cases here in Oklahoma where police are abusing the system. Here we've seen a single mom stuff being taken, a cancer survivor, uh, his drugs taken. We saw the Christian musician band, Christian man being taken. We've seen innocent people stuff taken. We've seen where the money goes and how it's been misspent. Loveless plans to introduce legislation next session that would require a conviction before any assets could be seized. If I were to err on the side of uh, one side versus the other, I would err on the side of the Constitution. And I think that's what we need to do. Now, as for the cost, we did obtain a copy of the contract that the state has uh, signed. It shows that the state is paying ERED $5,000 for the software scanners and then another 7.7% of all the cash the Highway Patrol seizes. We're live in the newsroom. Aaron Brilbeck.